have a one. Today I would like to talk about network design considerations. Let's imagine a day that uh, someone asks you uh, to design a network for his or her company. So what should you do as a network engineer? Uh, there are some sort of steps that you should follow them one by one uh, in order to have at least an acceptable network design. So let's take a look at them and review them. For that reason, I've chosen this sample company as a simple actual example. So as you can see here, there are 18 employees here and this is the entrance, so there should be receptionist here, at least two receptionists. And so I would say totally 18 uh, plus two receptionists, 20 employees. And this is the uh, whole places, about uh, 200 meter area. But uh, before thinking of the brand of the infrastructure or equipment or the number of them or whatever, there are some sort of questions that you should ask uh, from the president of the company. What are those questions which are critical? The first thing is a wall thickness and materials. Like for that company, so definitely we're gonna uh, implement IP phone. Uh, we're gonna implement local area network, internet, and uh, Wi-Fi coverage. So the question is uh, about Wi-Fi thickness and materials because Wi-Fi penetration ratio is different from one material to another one. Uh, imagine, uh, or not, not imagine, definitely uh, all of the walls uh, could be either bricks or concrete, so definitely the penetration ratio is different. The second question is the overview of the company, which is very important. Look, now they are 20, but uh, you do not know about the future. Maybe the company, after one year, after two years, develops, and uh, they're going to hire new employees, and they're going to expand the company, so we should think of the future of the company in a way that in the future uh, they can use the same infrastructure and uh, actually be sure about that uh, designing in a way in order not to making a trouble for them in their future. So uh, the future of the company for subnet and infrastructure is very important. Let's think of equipment. Wall mount and server cabinet. So we need a server cabinet, definitely in the server room. And because we need uh, to have distribution, so wall mount cabinet is a part that we should think of that. PoE switch. Why PoE switch? Because uh, we are thinking of IP phone. Uh, yes, IP phones have, each IP phone has its own adapter. But in order to reduce adapters, it is good to have PoE switch. A router, as long as we are talking about different departments of the company. so definitely will have different VLANs and sometimes we need inter VLAN routing, so the router firewall uh, we'll have net local area network and internet simultaneously on a computer uh, yes, the first uh, our initial consideration is to have VPN for connection of the internet but firewall is necessary uh, in order not to be attacked Access points uh, for the Wi-Fi coverage, patch panel for distribution, and category 6A patch cord. Why category 6A? One of our concerns in design is bandwidth. As long as we are using uh, internet and local area on, on the computers, so uh, and and as I told you, think of future maybe company uh, develops. So we should think of infrastructure that can. Uh, come up with best uh, performance. So category 6A that can support up to 10 gigabit is a good choice. Patch cord and jacks, both of them, both of them. It is also important. You cannot buy, uh, for example, a switch that supports 10 gigabit, but a cable that cannot support, or a jack that cannot support. Okay. Subnetting. It depends on the size of the company. Definitely. Uh, could be present directors, same VLAN, member of the board, a financial department, or could be a, a, accounts receivable and payable, or I don't know, logistics, HR, engineering department, all of them. 
So let's think of the plan. This is the server room. So whatever we have, we should put in the server room and distribute all of them from the server room to the destination. So as I told you, this is the most crowded or the populated place. So we should choose the switch and place something like this in order to have the most access. We will use a, a wall mount cabinet, for example, here. And we can uh, use a patch panel here, we can uh, put switch here, we can uh, put our Wi-Fi access point here. So, these are the crowded places, most of the employees are here, these are the important. But what about the rest of them? Uh, does this mean the rest of the places, for example, this place are, are unimportant? Absolutely no. Look, this is a meeting. Place or this is a conference. The first thing is that uh, definitely they will need a telephone or internet access or local area access in these rooms for the conferences and meetings. And the second thing, which is very important, as I told you, the future of the company. So maybe in the near future uh, they will uh, change the design. For example, the employees move to these. Uh, places for work, so we should consider these places as a place that uh, will have internet or I don't know access to the network. So I'm gonna choose this place to put a switch, patch panel, and uh, access point to have uh, to have access to all of these places. And as long as we distribute the cable from here towards here to here. If I want to continue the cable from here and here, so because we have a trough here, and uh, it is better to choose another place in this way, serious cable to here to have access to this uh, cabinet to have uh, access to these rooms. So the final thing that I should talk about that is the place that. We choose to put our cabinets as important and because we want to have everything in the same place and uh, to use access points here. The access point should be in a place that we have the least overlap and the least, uh, actually the most coverage and the least overlap. So in this way we can uh, somehow reach to that. After all, uh, we should think of the price. Okay, so far so good. We will talk about the future of the company, uh, subnetting, each subnet uh, for the beginning. Uh, it could be 32 IP addresses for each subnet. And we should, uh, we, we, we talked about the places and the num uh, number of equipments. Now the price, the final part of the project that we should think of. So for that company, uh, I've chosen all of the prices from one website in order to have a solid uh, estimation. Look, uh, as I estimated, uh, there is about 1,200 or 300 actually, cable, category 6, uh, for that reason. And then we buy that kind of cable, our patch cords and our jacks. Definitely should be the same, category 6. So after that, uh, we will need a patch panel. This is the least expensive actually patch panel that we can find on the website, but they are somehow more expensive. Uh, but this, this one is good. We need at least three patch panel one in the server room, two in the switches. But why I say at least? Because it is good whenever you buy something. Uh, it is good to buy uh, spare parts. Maybe one spare part is good for that. So at least three, it is logical to buy four patch panels. The switch, uh, I've chosen this one. It is PoE support, and uh, it has uplink uh, ports 10 gigabit as long as we are thinking of 10 gigabit. This is the access point, which is important for me. Why I've chosen this one? Because the mounting 
a lot of uh, the thing that we should think of that ceiling and more. So the mounting is easy. It should be indoor, so it can decrease the price in their stuff as long as you want to use that indoor the antenna gain is acceptable it's omnidirectional so this is the thing that I want to buy yeah it is good so and then the firewall even though we use VPN but the firewall is necessary the most expensive part of the project uh, one rack cabinet for the server room and one or two mounting for the walls. So these are the old things, but the whole things that you should think of them when you want to design a network. And if we sum up all of the uh, numbers to each other, uh, it is about ten thousand Canadian dollar to uh, provide a network that it is acceptable for now and it uh, considered the future of the company and it will work well so this this is the whole thing that I try to sum it up in a short video to how to design or what are the considerations of the design of the network I hope you enjoyed that uh, bye everyone